Good morning. Let's see if I can get the little doobly doo to go. Yes. Okay. Um, so this morning Joshua is not feeling well. <laughs> he said that his throat hurt. Um he said his neck hurt, but he means inside his neck. So that's how he says throat. Um, uh, he said it was sore when he's breathing, but not when he swallows. So I'm guessing he probably has a sore throat of some sort. Um, and he sounds stuffy. So I gave him some Advil and we put him back to bed. Cause he said when he's sleeping, it doesn't hurt. So apparently it's just meant to be that we're going to have a sick child on Christmas. It just isn't going to be the one I thought. Uh, I still have my Velociraptor t-shirt on, but I threw my um, Hinterland sweater over it, which I still think is one of my favorites. I do think I would like to extend the cuffs though, because when I stick my arm out, they're not long enough. I have a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a lot of that yarn left though, so that should be no problem at all. Um, so yeah, I need to rip out the cuffs at some point and add some cuff length. Um, it's funny too because I cut the motif short. I didn't have this part on it, the top part, because I thought it was going to be too long. And I totally should have added it because it probably would have made them be the right length. But I was worried about it, so whatever. That's fine. I could have more ribbing on it. I think the ribbing makes the sleeves a little bit cozier anyway because it really tightens around your hand. Um, but I'm going to open my advent this morning before the kids are awake. I need to blow my nose. Clean up some cups in here because I have a teacup and a coffee cup in here in my sewing area that I was drinking yesterday while I was working on pajamas and maybe while they're still asleep also a little bit on the pajamas. Yeah, because I just need to put sleeves on. I'm doing like the arm sides is the most annoying part is getting them to fit into the arm sides. Um, I don't know what Josh is listening to right now. All right, so let's open an advent. So I noticed two days ago podcast, um, everything was inverted. So hopefully I fixed that. Um, basically on the day that I did the, uh, the conjunction filming, um, I had my camera in night mode and I could not get it out of night mode. Uh, the only way I figured out to do it is to reset all of the camera settings. So I did that and then the setting I had that flips the selfies so that you can read things. Let's try with this label. It looks backwards to me, but I think when I save the file, now it flips it around. Um, so I fixed that setting. <laughs> Josh and I both said, oh my God, it feels like we're looking at ourselves in a funhouse mirror because all of the stuff I was seeing was on the opposite side of what it really is in the house. So for people who don't live in my house, that's not that jarring, but for me, <laughs> it totally was. I'm like, what room I am I in? Um, so anyway, I think I fixed that. Uh, we'll see when I edit the footage today because I fixed it for yesterday's footage. Um, so we're just having a sort of chill morning. The kids were kind of arguing with one another, but Josh did some coloring with Joshua of uh, Nutcracker pictures. He's making eggs and some vegetarian sausage right now. Ada is sleeping on the floor as per usual. Typically, she's sleeping on the floor 90% of the time. Um, I take video in her few 
conscious moments. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to do the uh, pressing of the front facing for Joshua's shirt and putting the sleeves in. Hopefully I can get all of that done in the next hour or so. Um, if I can manage that, then I think his pajamas will be done for tonight. And then um, for Megwin's, I think I'm gonna see if I can lay everything out and cut it all out, but I may only be able to finish her pants as far as sewing goes, because hers is a little more complicated. There's a squirrel running around out there. Squirrel! Um, hers is a little bit more complicated because the bodice is um, fully lined, so you like sew everything and then flip it all and then put the sleeves in and stuff and there's gathers and women's clothing is much more complicated than <laughs> men's clothing. Uh, I almost would make her the same pajamas, but I cut out the actual pattern so I don't have the larger size because I did that. Um, so yeah, that's fine. Um, but she'll at least have new pajama bottoms for wearing and then um, I'll finish the shirt a different day. If there's one thing I learned from 2020, it is give yourself some grace and a pass on not doing all of the things, which is hard for me. I'm an extremely driven, goal-oriented person, and if I say I'm going to do something, I do it. Um, this goes for everything in life. <laughs> uh so yeah, it's hard for me to let go of that and just realize, hey, we're not going to get everything done. Um, hey, Megwin. Hello. I thought you were playing Minecraft. Yes, but I'm eating sausages now. Oh. I'm going to get back on Minecraft. Okay. I'm working on getting iron so I can have bees. Cool. Bees! Anyway, she's using my computer right now, so I can't edit my footage from yesterday because she's using my computer. Thus, why I am sewing instead. Um, but that's fine. I need to get this done. And, um, yeah, if I can get all the sewing done, we'll see if I do the buttonholes today or not. Still alive. Still eating. Look at all this stuff he's cleared. It looks so much better all along the bottom. I can see into the tank now. It so clean. Such a good little snail. Ain't nobody dope as him. That's right.
Okay, so I have finished the jacket slash shirt, whatever you want to call it. That is it. Sleeves are in, sleeves are hemmed, bottom is hemmed, front is top stitched. I just have to put the buttons on and um, make the buttonholes. So if I have to, it can just be a jacket over a shirt um, with the pants. Uh, yeah, so for modifications, um, the shirt calls for a one and a quarter inch hem. I did a three eighths inch hem. Yeah, I think I did three eighths inch and then I just folded that in half to turn it under. So I, um, you know, got quite a bit more length. Same for the sleeves. I just did a three eighths inch hem. So uh, they should be considerably longer because same thing, they called for a one and a quarter inch hem. Let me turn off my machine. Um, so hopefully that'll help it fit him for longer. And now I need to find the little guide for putting the buttons on. It comes with like a little thing and you just lay it on the button placket and um, it has indicators for where the buttonholes should go. Um, it's pretty cute. I think my buttons might be a little bit big for how big this um, placket is. I feel like my placket was larger before and I wonder if it's because I didn't follow the directions because it says to turn under a 5 8 inch hem excuse me um, and then another quarter inch or turn under 5 8 trim it to 3 8 then sew it underneath uh, so it ends up with being a quite small button placket but these buttons are considerably larger than that button placket. However, they're shank buttons. Something is sticking me on my leg. Um, so it might be okay as long as I kind of sew them towards the side so that when they go inside the buttonhole, they're not going to stick over the edge. God, I can't talk today. Let me open these up so I can explain better. So if I sew them in such a way that when they lay, they're basically going to be like that. I think that'll be okay because I don't want them to do that. But you can see they're larger do it this way. They're larger than that strip. So nothing I'm going to do is going to fit them inside of there. But I think if I do kind of like that, when I sew them on, then when he buttons them, they will be right. They're so cute though. They're the right color. Anyway, that is that. I'm glad that I'm done with it. Even if I don't get buttons sewn on, he will still have something to wear for Christmas Eve. He could wear a little white shirt underneath of it because he actually gets kind of hot at night anyway. So just having it as a little jacket is okay. Um, so the kids are playing outside right now with Josh because um, as soon as the storm we're supposed to get this evening blows in, um, all of the snow will be gone. We're supposed to get thunderstorms and three to four inches 
sorry, two to three inches per hour of rain, 55 mile per hour winds. They're basically calling for power outages everywhere. So I have to make sure to charge all the electronics at like eight or something. Um, and also charge Also charge the uh, blocks. I don't remember what those are called. Power banks? The power banks that we have for our electronics so that if um, we're out of power for an extended period, we have the ability to charge our phones and um, tablets and stuff. So, um, yeah, I just need to remember to do that. I am going to take a break though because I've been sewing for a little bit covered in string like you do yeah covered in pieces of string <laughs> they're everywhere and like pink bits of fabric there's string all over my desk so yeah i'm gonna go outside i'm gonna try to walk ada early just so that if we get the storm um in the evening i don't have to try to walk her also i found out that uh warby parker which is where i got my glasses from has uh, three stores in Connecticut, so I can go and get my um, new frames adjusted because they don't fit. So these fit perfectly. They're like the right place and everything. My other ones, they're bent down a lot more and out here, so they don't uh, kind of tension themselves on my temples. They tension themselves on my is that your occipital bone? The part right here behind your ear. And it really hurts. And then if I wear headphones, it's making it even more painful. So I need to take them to one of the stores and say, just bend them like these because these are perfect and they feel great. Um, so if you're wondering why I'm not wearing my other frames, that is why, because they are not shaped appropriately. But, um, I was really happy to discover that we do have one of those stores near me. I don't know how near, but basically everything in Connecticut is near in my Midwestern sense of things. Um, anything that's an hour drive or less, I think is near. And uh, I could drive an hour in any direction and be out of Connecticut <laughs> or at the edge of Connecticut. So, yeah, I will take those sometime. I think I'm probably going to wait until after New Year's because I don't want to be out and about when everybody's going to be returning Christmas gifts and stuff, going to malls and things like that. I have a pair of glasses that work perfectly fine. Not a problem to wait. Um, this is my lip gloss from Divinity Body Care. I really love it. I got two of them. This one is um, like a light peppermint flavor and it's kind of an iridescent pink. And the other one is a clear gloss and Joshua has that one because he really likes it. He likes having his own lip gloss for when his lips get chapped. So he carries that one in his uh, bag and it's, like I said, a light bulb shape um, and it's got the little applicator on it. So he uses that for his chapped lips. But this one looks like a piece of candy. She also put out some color changing ones in her new um, Christmas line and, and hot cocoa scented uh, body lotion. I don't remember if the hot cocoa is in anything else. 
but pink peppermint she has like body scrubs and body lotion I haven't ordered any yet but I've been thinking about it so I have a coupon that I haven't used yet because I won a giveaway for 20% off coupon but then I um, didn't use it on my order because she was having like get a free lip gloss and you can't do two coupons so anyway I did that and I figured I'd save it so I was thinking about using it for some Christmas stuff um yeah I feel good about where I am just so we are clear Remember how I said I had to go into the selvage? Look at that seam, guys. Completely hidden. So it does not show on the outside at all. Yay! And that was what let me squeak out the pants. Here, I'll turn right side out. No salvage. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. He's going to be adorable in them. I'm super excited. I need to get his waist measured when he comes back in. Because um, the elastic is super easy to do. So I could get that part done. And uh, the hem is not going to take any time at all. I'm going to make it tiny, just like that one. Again, it calls for one and a quarter inch hem. I'm going to, I think this might even be one and a half inch hem. I'm going to do a three eighths inch hem. Boom. Problem solved. And then I will cut out Megwin's stuff later on. I might just stay up and do that on Christmas Eve. After I have the children in bed. I also need to fold laundry and do our laundry desperately because sick child I've just been surviving everyone take a moment soak in the quiet because it's so quiet in my house right now my children are so loud they're so so Um, let's see what else. I also want to make the peppermint pie, which involves peeling all of those stupid peppermint candies. I usually make the kids do that because it's a tedious job and they enjoy it. They like peeling. They peel crayons, like peel the wrappers off the crayons. They both did it as like little kids and they still do it. Um, so they like peeling wrappers off things. So it's kind of an ideal job for them. Okay. I'm babbling now. I'm going to get some warm things on and go outside and play in the snow. Oh my gosh, my remote works. I was trying to get my remote to work so that I could uh, start my camera without using my nose. If you're wondering, how do you start and stop your camera, Nina, with your mittens on? I use my nose. So pro tip, if you need to interact with your cell phone and you're outside and it's cold, you don't want to take your mittens off. Use the booper. Um, I use it to unlock my phone so I can do my password and draw stuff with my nose. I can swipe up, select apps. I can start podcasts all with my nose. So that's what I do. But now I can use this with my little mittened hand to start and stop the camera while I'm outside. So I'm going to do that now. It's probably better. Oh, boy. 
it works when it's in the stick, which is great. So good, Gabby. So good. All right, I'm going to go outside now. And Ada is probably happy about that because she has been barking at me to come out and get her untangled. She hides in the forest and pretends like she's tangled. And then when I come over to her, like, oh no, let me untangle you. She rushes at me and then runs around in the snow. It's pretty hilarious. Um, she thinks she's a tricky, tricky girl. And she's so tricky. Oh my God, I'm going to make you all sick with putting my mittens on. La 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 la. Okay, now I need to get her leash and go get her. Last night, my foot was hurting when I was walking to these boots. Partly because it was so icy. I was kind of sliding, trying not to fall. Ooh, I can hear the melting sounds. Very melty. Just sounds like running water. Oh, because it's the gutter. Okay, that makes sense. It's not even cold outside right now. I don't know why I have my mittens on. Actually, stuff this time, you can't jump at me. You're real stuff, for real. Yeah. 